let's go through the other door and see if there's more, like, torture stuff that way. Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. So this could be completely wrong, of course. And then I could just have to run all the way back. But that is just my best idea right now. And going this way, again, there was a door that I missed, so I could check that. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus... or for the Damascus Rose oil. Okay. Um... See, this room I... I never actually checked. I need another... Yeah! Gimme. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in peace, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the or they all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time but by anguish. Okay. That for the moment. Agrippa channels fire. Okay, Agrippa channels fire. Vire taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in the seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries, my only link to the worlds beyond. Vire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he can so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of, I have seen their deception. Optimism is the most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for, my, for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Vyar told me to feed him a tonic made from Paralyzer, Vitae, and Tamter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer, got it, if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water-dwelling cairn. What? Okay. I will have to address Vire with this, as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. That means I have, like, one of the things. One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. It's no longer going to tell me what those ingredients are. I mean, I don't know. Did I miss the blood thing? Um... Like, would I have to backtrack for that? Am I okay for now? Like, did I only need the fungi that way? Or the gland, I guess? I'm not seeing anything else blue in here, at the very least. So, I'm gonna say we leave. Head back, you know, check the other door. That big thing over there. I mean, do you have anything to say now that I read that note? Incredible. You found Vyar's recipe. Yes. That there might still be a chance. Okay. Listen carefully. All right. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. Ah. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please, find the ingredients that has a tonic Vyar describes. Okay. And do so before you assemble the all. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save it. Okay, so I gotta find the last two ingredients, the Vitae and the ta 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 Tamptrum? Tamptum? Something. And then mix it with the thing, the gland, and then give it to him, and then assemble the orb. A group of the dying man wants a specific tonic made to save him. Looks yeah. like you cleaned out the choir. Head for the transit and find the rest of the orb pieces. Okay, he said I cleaned out the choir. I think that means I'm good to move on, yeah. The remaining orb pieces can be found at the transept. Yes, I'm glad I didn't keep looking in the choir then. Because, I mean, I, I didn't know.
There's a well. That's what I was told. Or I was told I could mix things with. I, hold on. That's what I wanted. I wanted you to pull the rope. Give me essence or something. Come, take it, take it, you fool. Take it. Remains. Uh, the bone is covered in mucus. Can be combined by hand. According to the note, the tonic has to be made with care. All right. Also, um, I believe that I've been hearing like a couple of Discord notifications, so I apologize. I very often forget to turn that off because when I do, I always forget to turn it back on. Like the sound. Enjoy the rope. Let it bother you. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna close that door, not deal with it again, hopefully. I don't think that I need to deal with that anymore. Stupid darkness. Making me nervous. Transept, here we go. Such filthy thought, good man can save each Yeah, okay, read that one already. Okay, so we have two of the three things, and the blood, the Vitae, I think is the last thing we need, and that supposedly he was. Dude! No! I'm sorry, hold on, what the heck? Okay, hopefully uh, everything's good. My friend is apparently having issues with Skype, and because I wasn't answering him on Discord, he um, he wanted to call to ask if I was having troubles with Skype. <laughs> so, I apologize for that breaking the moment. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Aldrin! Kill me! This one. Prepare him. For the record though, I have now muted Discord, so we will not get any more notification interruptions um, for this session. And with how the game is looking, honestly, maybe this will be the end for the game. I... I don't know. I, I'm saying, like, I might be able to beat it um, this last, like, sit-down session for me. Don't like the sounds of that at all. Just felt I should say that. Let there be lights, let the door be closed. Let me just like enjoy it for a moment and see that my sanity is a uh, slight headache. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Is this something that I could collect? The hatch must be open first. Uh, the blood cannot be reached. Find a way to lower the vessel down to contain the blood. Well, first I'll take that. There's rope here. There is plenty of rope. I mean, it's... To me. Like, I'm not sure... Why it's being so reluctant to just let me... Ah... Oh. Oh, I don't like that at all.
Why can't I use the rope for this part? It just makes too much sense to be able to do that. I don't have anything in my inventory that would otherwise, like, help me lower it down. Find a way to lower the vessel to collect the blood. I have a way. It's called bloody rope that's right here. Oh, I didn't actually mean bloody as in, like, it has blood on it. I was just being, like, pseudo-British. Like, what am I missing? Like, would I really have to backtrack, find something else, and then... I don't understand that part. Um... It's a crank for a machine, which I've never used yet. It really bugs me that I can't use this rope. Find a way to lower it down. Oh, you mean like these two things right here? It needs a vessel. I have a vessel. The vessel needs a way down. Have a way down. It won't, really, won't let me use it. What else could I possibly use? I'm hoping that I'll find something else in one of these other rooms. Like, I'm definitely going back. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault! Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. You guys are the monsters. Holy crap. I mean, thats it's obvious, I know, that they are the bad guys in this situation. It's just kind of... It's, uh, it's just repulsive to think about. Again with the repulsiveness. No, no, please! Do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! Do anything! I'm innocent! Look, I found it! It was hiding, guys. I guess I should learn what I can, right? The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. What? I don't know what that means. Dang, I got my hopes up. I'm like, oh, will it let me take the chain? Maybe I could use that to lower it down. But nope. False hope. That's all I'm ever provided. Um, how's my sanity? Yeah, not great. Alright. So running down this hallway. We have one more room. And then if we... I mean, that'll be where the last thing is. I cannot assemble the orb. Like, otherwise I can't, like, save Agrippa, I guess. And I assume that I want to do that. Um... I don't like where any of this is going. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave away to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. That's just not, that's not just the weight of her body.
Well, as far as I could go. Well, my vision is very shaky right now. Hold on, how is it? Yeah, I'm dots. Just stare at the light. Just calm down. Take a breath. You're cool, Daniel. You're cool. I mean, you're a monster, but... Um, is it like under this? Oh, is it... Uh... It's very hard to aim when your insanity is like that low. Okay, look, I have six pieces. And a crystal clear sanity! Thank goodness. Unfortunately though, I have found nothing to assist with lowering uh, my jar into the blood. And I kind of need that. Um, is there anything up here that would help with that, I guess? I haven't tried these stairs yet. What? Come on, Mike, go up. Ooh, I hope this doesn't, like, trigger the next thing. This is a new area. I can't go. Uh, I feel like this might be leading to the next part, though. Okay. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Is it you, my love? I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time, it, it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Okay. Hey, look! String! And with string... I make glass jar on a string. The glass jar has a string tied around it. All right, so I was, I actually needed to come here, good. Notes on torture. Torture is bad, no one should ever do it ever. But as it actually says, there are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before pr proceeding. Even the most timid creatures can break, in, can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore... Well, okay, the right steps to take are, therefore... To restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you're about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to the body, or it, with if possible with breaks, to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia- look at it being caps and all that, man. Feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. I have amnesia. Was I gonna be subject to the torch? No, I probably... Did I take it myself? To try to forget kind of things I did? And... In hopes that I would go after it? Music's being weird. Am I safe? I'm gonna crouch for now. Hello? Oh jeez, did I come in from there? I don't even know. 
Um, I want to say yes. So I think this was the first one I went in. If that's the case, there should be a door. Right? Or with the water monster thing? Oh no, but this was the... Okay. So I'm imagining it wrong, but this is the right thing. Crystal clear, crystal clear. And just to be sure, yeah, I can't do anything. Can't add anything directly into the blood. The substance needs to be purified first. Okay. Back to Agrippa, I suppose. He would know best what to do, I imagine. Um, and I'm hoping that he just kind of straightforward tells me, because otherwise I'll be at a bit of a loss. Something died inside him that day. Watching the man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. Right. Cool. Okay. I see that all the art pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for why I got it. Before attempting to mend the all. There might still be a chance for you to save me. I'm willing to do so. Please, my faith is in your hands. Yeah, could you remind me though how to how to do the thing? It's like like I have the pieces, but um, yeah, I can't add anything directly into the blood. The substance needs to be purified first. How do I purify it? I am willing. I just don't know how. I see that all the art pieces you need. I know, dude. I, know I, have I know, no dude. Right to ask anything of you. Maybe this dude can help me with purification if I send the blood down. I thought it mentioned something about a well. Maybe that was just for the that one part, but no. One note speaks of a mixture. Great, thanks for the help. Oh, great, but the dying man was a specific tonic. Cool, thanks. Like, that doesn't help me at all. What other things do I have? Isn't this one? Um, feed him a tonic made from a paralyzed vitae and tempter. I have all of those, I believe. No, wait, crap, go back. Wrong one. Um... Okay, so we got the Tamter, that's from the water dude. We got the Vitae, that's from the blood that we have in the jar. We got the fungi. Um, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. What? Oh, to, to contain the Cairn. Okay, that's why I was remembering well then. I don't know how to purify it, though. What am I supposed to do with the blood? I don't, I don't understand I that. See that all the art pieces you need. Yes, I do. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart... Would not help. Gather the ingredients he refuses to eat it. Before Can't prepare the tonic himself. All, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please. My is in your hands. I would like to very much. Hold on, wait. At some point I found a laboratorium. Was it down here? I guess if anything, this would be the place I'd want to go. So I can't... The straight ahead is where the electricity was for the orb. I don't want that yet because I can't make the orb before I do the tonic. I mean, I might be able to, but I feel like that would mess with the story. It is at least giving me another cutscene now that I'm here, but that might just be because I have the orb pieces. It might not have anything to do with... How? How? I closed the door! I closed the door! I... What the heck? You weren't that fast, dude! I closed the door behind me! Cue outro, go!